Yo, what's up guys, it's Suraj from Tech Devoted and in today's video I want to talk about one of my most recent tech purchases and I'm gonna cut right to the chase, that product is a power bank. Now, fun fact, despite being a tech YouTuber for a fairly long time, I have never actually owned a real power bank up until now. Uh, so you know what these things do, uh, we all know that you can charge a phone with this, but my workflow is a little different. So my camera, the Sony A6300, uses a micro USB port for charging, uh, which means I can charge my camera with a regular micro USB phone charger, the one that comes with most phones, which means I could also use a power bank to charge it. Yeah, it's, it's pretty freaking mind blowing. Uh, but in addition to simple plane charging, I could also use the power bank to power my camera itself. As in, I can connect my camera to the power bank and pull juice from the power bank itself and not the internal battery. And that, in my opinion, is just game changing. Everybody talks of how you should buy extra or spare batteries for your camera. Do you realize an authentic Sony A6300 battery can cost as much as 5,000 rupees? On the other hand, this power bank, it's a 20,000 milliamp power power bank. I can connect this to my uh, camera and shoot all day long. I'm talking about like three to four to five hours worth of clips and the power bank still won't die. And this thing costs 1,500 rupees. Now you might be thinking, okay Suraj, isn't it inconvenient or weird to have a power bank on you at all times and is it not like weird or awkward to have a wire connected to your camera at all times, doesn't it get in the way? My answer to that is no, it's actually fairly convenient. Uh, the wire does not get in the way and I generally just place the power bank in my pocket itself. It's not too bulky or if it can't fit your pocket, you can just wear a backpack and put it inside that. It's really as simple as that. Again, this is just a simple MI power bank with two ports. Uh, it's 20,000 milliampere, as I said. Both these ports are 5 volt 2 amps. And uh, the nice thing about this power bank is that it automatically detects the device and starts charging, as opposed to some other power banks that require you to press the button or something on the side. So that's pretty neat. And no, uh, MI did not sponsor this video. I am not Austin Evans or Jonathan Morrison, although I wish they did. Uh, but yeah, I really like this product. I literally just went and got it like one week back because I had to do a three day shoot, a really, really long shoot and I had exactly one Sony A6300 battery. So this was really handy. This is definitely the best 1500 rupees I've spent on camera gear. And of course, in addition to charging your camera, needless to say, you could always, always, always use this to charge your phone on set or something like that. You already know that, but I'm just putting it out there anyway because it has an additional advantage, whereas with a A6300 battery, you can only just put it in your A6300 and shoot, but with this one, you get the point, right? So guys, there you have it. I just wanted to share this quick uh, little Sony camera hack slash tip. Might work with some other cameras as well, depending on what port your camera uses. So yeah, I don't understand why more people don't talk about this, but I just wanted to share with you guys. Uh, if you like this one, I found it helpful, give it a like. If you didn't, Vote it down, let me know in the comments uh, why you didn't like it. I can maybe improve. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. It's been Suraj. Thanks so much for watching. Take it easy and stay devoted.